Hello there, Phil Harvey here in Las Vegas at Mobile World Congress Las Vegas. And I'm joined by Mike Zito of Boingo. Mike, good to see you again. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Um, thanks for being here and thanks for inviting us into this place. This is the it's Boingo awesome. Innovation Center. Um, so tell me, what? why does Boingo have an innovation center and why here? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, this is, Vegas now is really becoming an epicenter for innovation around sports and entertainment, and hospitality. And mm -hmm. I mean, this just made sense for us. It was a great place to open this innovation center. We've got our partner showcase. We've got demos set up. We've got 5G. We've got Wi-Fi 6. We've got AI. All really trying to demonstrate not only the technologies, but the outcomes. Mm -hmm. So we have this place built for us. It's a beautiful place. Dr. Derek Peterson has worked with his team and our partners to really put something special together. And again, being here at, at the epicenter of, of innovation for sports and entertainment and hospitality, it's a great place for us to be. Yeah, it, it's certainly an excellent location. You're right at the convention center stop on the Las Vegas yeah. monorail. Yep. So you're, you're not only getting a, a view of the city, but you're also uh, getting a feel for the busyness that happens here because there's all kinds of events happening all the way around you, you know, uh, and you look out any window and you see something that's uh, usually packed with people, you know. You, you have the tech, I mean, you have the events happening, right? But at the right. end of the day, you have the innovation happening. I mean, look at the sphere right behind us. I mean, that's right. a great example of connectivity and innovation all coming together. And, mm. you know, we just signed a deal with the Dream Hotel and we're doing some great things for them from a converged network perspective. And really, I mean, if you're talking about convergence and bringing all types of connectivity together to really drive experiences, this is where you should be innovating in Vegas because that's yeah. what you want, right? Yeah. Now, you, uh, some, a phrase you just said that I've, I've heard before, and it's really a great one, I think, for especially for uh, uh, folks in telecom is, uh, sort of demonstrating outcomes, you know, not just talking yeah. technology, but, but showing people this is what happens when you put these technologies together. Um, why is this an important concept for a network builder like Boingo? I mean, look, at the end of the day, right, the technologies, uh, you know, the, the connectivity technologies that we pull together to create that really complex converged network, you know, there has to be a reason to build that network. Mm -hmm. And now everything's connected. And what we're doing is we're not just connecting a device, but we're trying to drive that connection to create an outcome. Mm -hmm. And that's really what ROIs everything mm -hmm. and helps people make it make sense. You know, it's that use case that drives the outcome. The technology is just the enabler, but it's complex when it comes to connectivity. And that's really, you know, where we've excelled over the years, as you guys know. Um, mm -hmm. And whether it be in a large transportation hub or, uh, you know, a, a facility, Mm -hmm. um, you know, we are we are really spending a lot of time making sure that we're focused on the outcomes mm -hmm. because that's where people are going to really see the value. Yeah. And, and another uh, sort of phrase, I love picking apart the phrases, but another one I heard today was uh, innovating from the inside out. Um, so what does that mean in the in the context of what Boingo does, but also just, you know, we're we're in Vegas and this is uh, also one of the places where uh, a lot of smart city technology gets applied. Um, so so how, how does that sort of fit in here? Yeah, so look, I've been working in the smart city space for 10 plus years. It's a really complex environment. That's why it hasn't taken off as fast as you'd like it to. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually focused on from the macro, from the outside in, right? All the right. city applications, the poles, the lights, the traffic. But at the end of the day, I mean, if you think of what we do, we're really helping our customers and our partners innovate from the inside out and then interconnect that macro of the city to the indoor environment. Uh, because we're focused now, especially in transportation hubs, I mean, they're really dialed in on digital innovation and digital disruption. Yeah. A lot of that's happened since COVID, the touchless experience, improved security, sustainability, operations. Mm -hmm. um, and we're really driving a lot of that. And again, what we're, what we're focused on is connecting these smart environments, mm -hmm. these connected spaces to the city mm -hmm. and, and driving the innovation from the inside out. And that's really where we come up with that term. Okay. And then we use the network convergence to make that happen. Yeah, I, I like the, uh, the the whole concept of it because smart cities has been sort of stagnant for a, for a while because it was just about once the connectivity was there, nobody seemed to know what to do. <laughs> yeah, and I talked about that today in you know the panel that I did over there. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, there's some really key drivers. You've got mm -hmm. infrastructure investment now, 39 billion towards transportation and mobility initiatives. Um, you know, connectivity is gonna be foundational in driving that, right? And mm -hmm. making that happen and driving those outcomes. Um, you've also got IoT. Things really are all connected now. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, you have the other elements of, again, like I said, the, the enterprise itself 
wanting to be more connected and more smart. So mm -hmm. all those things happening are really starting to drive traction. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's going to take some time still to get scale. But, I mean, this next couple of years, we're seeing it. Yeah, and I think Las Vegas is a great place where uh, the city itself demonstrates it. And then, of course, all the entertainment and uh, uh, other events that happen here, sports and everything else that happens. Absolutely. Um, I'm not only reporting from the Boingo Innovation Center, I am uh, interrupting uh, executives who have to work hard and keeping them from their guests. So, Mike, we'll let you go. Thanks so much for the time. Thanks. Great to see you. All right. All right. Appreciate you.